Hey guys, it's me, Maggie. Welcome back to I Want My Inks TV Reviews. Today we're gonna to talk about Peacock's new show, The Girl in the Woods, brought to you by Crypt TV. The Girl in the Woods is a supernatural drama where monsters are real and they have guardians protecting this door in the middle of the woods. The heroine of the story is Carrie. She is a guardian of this store. She is the lone guardian and she runs away. Then strange occurrences start happening in this sleepy mining town. Brings the total missing in West Pine to five, all within 36 hours. I personally love like supernatural YA shows like Shadowhunters on Freeform or Shannara Chronicles on MTV. The Girl in the Woods was not that. Before I go on, let me tell you a couple of positive things. I got a couple. I loved how diverse the cast was, especially with the three leads. I loved the queer community being represented, especially with the three leads as well, and a couple of side characters. And the poster's pretty, and I liked the trailer. That's about it. So the one big draw of the show was, I was surprised, was Kristen Ritter. She directs a few episodes and she's also a co-EP. I was very excited about her because I loved Jessica Jones and also Don't Trust the Bee from The Apartment 23. But I'm a little disappointed because this show and direction and writing was subpar. It felt like a second draft and it needed a few more drafts. And that, that pains me to say that about any kind of show, especially since it's on a a well-known platform, but here we are. I watched it, and I'm telling you not to. I'm so sorry. On paper, this show should have worked. It has every kind of small element that you need from a fun, supernatural, YA TV show. It's also 30 minutes, which is fantastic, because you want it short and sweet, and you want a full storyline, no commercials. However, the follow-through wasn't really there. It just felt like a long 30 minutes of whining. Stop whining. Carrie, the main guardian who has left her post and is on the run because she's being chased by her protector, fortunately makes two friends in town, Tasha and Nolan, who are best friends. When it comes to shows, I don't necessarily need to like the main character. I would love to love the best friends. I could not love the best friends. I disliked them all equally. I was not rooting for any of them because I felt like sometimes they wouldn't listen to each other and sometimes they wouldn't work together. And then they all ended up doing their own thing that hurt the group and then hurt themselves. In one episode, that's fine. But when it's every single episode and I can't root for you, I am rooting against you. And I want the monster to get you, girl. <laughs> What's also worse is, I hate this. It's like the Buffy the Vampire Slayer ideal all over again. Why do you only have one person guarding this door? You are literally training 20 people and you have one girl to protect this door. And she obviously leaves. Like why? What? The fight scenes were just so painful. <laughs> I know I don't know karate, but you can tell that Carrie doesn't either. I am personally a scaredy cat. I cannot watch any kind of horror. I had trepidations about doing this video. I did not get scared. I feel bad. I wanna like everything I watch, especially with a female heroine and like girl power and diversity and queer inclusivity and you know, it looked fun. It actually looked a lot of fun, but I try to like it and this show was really hard to enjoy all eight episodes. I feel bad talking like this. There's a cliffhanger, so there's a possibility for a season two. I just don't think you should have it. I'm gonna end this thing. <laughs> Once again, my name is Maggie. Leave a comment down below about The Girl in the Woods. We'd love to hear from you. and I would love to talk to you about this show. Again, please hit subscribe, ring the bell, hit some thumbs up, and have a good day. Bye guys.